And dear people, when we stand in forgiveness without guilt and condemnation, we have built uh, a hedge of protection around us that Satan cannot penetrate. Satan cannot penetrate or dominate a believer who receives forgiveness. Satan cannot uh, penetrate or dominate those who walk in forgiveness. We walk in freedom. We are a house of purity. When we walk in that freedom, we are a house of purity. When we walk in forgiveness, we walk in paths of righteousness. We are experiencing the righteousness of the kingdom of God. In other words, we will become the righteousness of God in the earth and begin to live in the house of power. What does the Lord want us to do? He wants us to become a house of purity so we may become a house of prayer to become a house of power. Why? So we become a house of praise. Amen? Now, I'm having communion this evening. And you know, the communion isn't, I'll read it in 1 Corinthians here. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And we, you know, many of us have read this many times. And we'll read verses 24 and 25. Of, uh, 1 Corinthians 11. And the word of God says, And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament of my, in my blood. No, it's talking about the blood covenant. This do ye as oft as you drink it as remembrance of me. Now, how many times have we read that? That's right. Look up one verse. Verse 23. It says, For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. You think he was walking in forgiveness? You better believe it. The very same night. The very same night. What do you think when the enemy came at him and plucked his beard and spat upon him and he never opened his mouth? He was not going to fall to the strategies of the enemy. He was not going to walk in unforgiveness. You see? <coughs> then if we keep, <coughs> keep reading on down verse 26, it says, For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you, shall eat, you, know, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. Let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Then he says, For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. You know what? He is talking about unforgiveness. He is talking about unforgiveness. How do you say, how do you know that? Well, first of all, if you look at verse 31, it says, For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Talking about unforgiveness. Our Lord saying, but let a man examine himself and so let him drink of that bread and drink of that cup. So my dear people, we're going to have communion this evening. <clears throat> and before we have that communion, I want us to examine ourselves. What's this? I want you to just close your eyes, lay down your Bible, and shut yourself away with the Lord for a minute. <clears throat> just close your eyes, lay down your Bible, and get real still in the presence of the Lord. Lord, 
Lord tells us to examine ourselves. As we're sitting here, I'm going to remind you of these very same questions. Are we blurting out of our mouths what so-and-so did or said? Do we still resent what someone said or did? Even after they have asked for forgiveness? Can we forget and forgive what harm someone may have done to us or our loved ones? Do we avoid this person? <clears throat> Are we uncomfortable in their presence? The Lord instructs us to follow peace with all men and holiness, but to walk in forgiveness even with our enemies. To be forgiven, we must first forgive. To be forgiven, we must first forgive. And the Lord says, just keep yourself shut away from the Lord. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. And this prior for that he said, that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. Each and every one of us have been betrayed at one time or another in our lives. And what I want I say the Holy Spirit wants you to do this evening is just to get rid of it. Just ask the Lord for forgiveness. To get rid of it. Lord says, but let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of the bread and drink of that cup. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.